Welcome to Root Stem Gaming. This is Warmer 40,000, 1000 points. Lunar Walls Heresy version versus Eldar. Right, welcome guys. This is going to be the battlefield for today's game. And we're going for some smaller games in the next couple of battle reports simply because it's to try and inspire people to get gaming. Uh, a lot of people don't have the room for a six foot by four foot table unless you attend a club. I don't at home. Uh, normally I have to go to Granger's or of course I have to come here to be able to get the games recorded. So we're going to be doing an open, well it's an open war cards. Uh, we're not doing the ruses but we are doing the uh, deployment. Which as you can see is just standard sort of we're going to be six inches away from each other in the centre. And the mission is Supply Cache, uh, which is going to be quite interesting. Six objectives, which we'll put down in a bit. And then, uh, basically, uh, we've got to try and find which one it is. So every time you name an objective, you roll a D6. If you get a six, there it is. And then Grudge Match. So the Lunar Wolves and the Eladari slash Eldar of the Beltan. Don't roll any morale tests. Right. Uh, we'll get the objectives down in a moment, but let's take you to some armies. So this is a thousand points of uh, Beltan, Aladari, Eldar, or whatever you want to call them, Craft World. Uh, <laughs> uh, lovely editing swearing already. Um, I've got a battalion, which is going to be five points. Uh, so plus in the three, that's going to make it eight for this game. And um, we've got uh, a Far Seer, a Spirit Seer, and a Warlock Conclave of three Warlocks, all armed with Witch Blades. Uh, the Warlocks have Empower, Slash and Tribe, so either plus one or minus one to the wound rolls, either uh, for myself or uh, for the enemy. Um, the Spirit Seer has Quicken and Strain and Protect and Jink, and the Far Seer has Fortune and Doom, and of course them two both have Smite. The Far Seer will be the Beltan Leader with Inspirational Leader, so any unit within three inch I can just basically state that they can re-roll to hit rolls. And we have... Not a lot in the way of... We've tried to go a bit different in this game. We've got no tanks. I've tried to go a bit more classic second edition Eldar, which used to just be infantry. Um, so we've got three units of ten guardians, each with a heavy weapon platform. That one is a Bright Lance, a uh, Rocket Launcher, and Star Cannon. A unit of four Dark Reapers. Uh, one, the Sergeant, of course, has a Shuriken Catapult. And we've got a unit of eight Banshees to back them up. And for heavy support, as it were, I've got a Wraith Lord. So that's pretty much it. Um, if I get uh, stuck on this one, I'm going to be uh, a little bit uh, a little bit screwed. All right, let's take you over to uh, Mills' Lunar Wolves. And this is a thousand points of Mills' Lunar Wolves, painted in pre-heresy colour scheme. Uh, you all right there, Craig? I am. Good. I'm all right. Well... Living the dream. Living the dream. Right, okay, so what we're rocking and rolling today? Um, we have three tactical squads. Yep. All armed as is, so the sergeant with a power fist. Yep. That's it. We have a 10 man squad of rockets. Yep. Which are quite expensive. Yep. Which are and hopefully doing the damage. <laughs> we have two praetors. Yep. Uh, one armed with a plasma pistol, both armed with paragon blades. Yep. And the other one's got a bolt pistol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the Master of a signal. point filler is Master of Signal. Now, what does he do in 8th edition? Uh, basically the same as Heresy. He's got his Nuncio Vox, his Cognus Signum, and his Bombardment. Okay. I'm not sure how Bombardment's going to work in this. All um, right. Because I've never used it. No. <laughs> uh, but Nuncio Vox still pluses one to hit, yep. but he needs to be within three inch rather than six. Yeah. And the Nuncio Vox... It's got worse. Where does it used to be uh, to draw line of sight for anything with barrage? It's now only for artillery certain, pieces. Certain units, yeah, and and balladers, and stuff. whirlwinds, yeah. uh, medusas, and quad mortars. It doesn't affect bombardments. Right. So, save your points. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I will find out what bombardments for when, uh, well, yeah, when we actually get round to it, yeah. I've put some, hopefully, some rules up on here. The Praetors are uh, pretty much like standard captains. You will have iron halos on those. Yep. Your tactical squads, they are a minimum of 10. We do have access to various different heresy-specific yeah. traits. The uh, 
where they've got the Forge World models to have them as um, all we close combat weapons and pistols yeah, yeah, yeah. that have no effect in game in Heresy. This one you can replace them all. Yeah. So can't. you can have them as either or. But when you swap them to chain axes, obviously they all get an extra attack. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, chain swords. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, ten. 10 rocket launchers all in one squad. That's going to be painful. Don't do it's going to be very, very painful. Um, and what does the Lunar Rules trait? I'm just finding them. <laughs> right, so we have found them. Uh, so what's one of the first rules they have? Merciless Fighter. Yep. Uh, so that one, that one's changed. That one's now any hits of a 6 plus in the combat phase or yep. fight phase generate an additional attack. Okay. Um, the Death Dealer rule. Yep. That is plus one to hit on any rapid fire or assault weapons. Yep. But that one is reduced down to nine inches okay. rather than 12. So you've got to be within nine for that to take effect. Yes. No it did also used to include pistols, but not in this. Yep. Uh, and the last one is Bitter Pride, which has no effect on this game because I ain't got allies. Ah, oh, right, no problem. Bitter Pride means I can't suffer any bonuses from other... Other units. Other leaders yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. No problem at all, then. Uh, right, let's get cracking, let's get this bad boy set up, and we'll come in to see who's going to get the first turn. Okay, so deployment done. Um, we've got a tactical unit down here with, as Mills has pointed out, sergeants leading from the front, because you don't tend to find that in Heresy. Remove your characters as soon as they're there. Uh, we've got an objective underneath this guy. The unit of 10 with the Vox is sat around the pipes another objective on top of them and another unit of 10 they're actually surrounding one of the praetors uh, mills is putting some dice down just to remind him how many you know wounds the praetors have got inside the building we've got two objectives because the objectives have to be six inches apart so we've got one on the pile of stuff and one just outside with the actual uh, flyer um, I'm guessing that these squad of tactical marines with the other Praetor are probably going to be going across that side. Any unit Praetor wise, just to make you guys aware, that's got a line or like a Vox like guy, they've actually got additional chain blades. You couldn't afford them for all three squads. My unit of Banshees, um, plus the Warlocks, the Spirit Seer, and the Wraith Lord coming down this end. I really, really don't like those guys, so. Hopefully I get first turn, otherwise it's going to be a dead Wraith Lord. Although I really should have put him... Ah, oh, well, never mind. Thinking about it now, not really deployed very well. A uh, unit of Guardians with the Rocket, they're on an objective. Another unit of Guardians down here with the Bright Lance. Objective just underneath there. The Farseer and the uh, uh, Dark Reapers skulking at the back. And then another unit of uh, Guardians here <coughs> with the Star Cannon. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we're going to rock and roll, see who's going to get first turn. Mills got everyone down first. Eight command points apiece. So do you want to roll your dice, Mills? Dice available soon. So Mills actually has a six. So I need a six to draw to force a re-roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. So I now need a six... <laughs> to seize. To seize. No. So, so far, during my rolls with my new dice, which did very good against Chris the other day... Uh, I have got a three, a three, a three, uh, a three, a three, a one, and a three. Doing well. Right. <laughs> so, Mills is going to go first. This is a good match, so we're not going to bother putting counters down for how many casualties we suffered, because we ain't suffering any. It doesn't matter about casualties suffered on this. So, let's take it into Mills' turn one. Right, so, Mills' unit. That unit's run up inside the actual building. Can't see it. A lot of these guys over here have kind of stood still, and uh, that unit's moved forward. Now, we had a bit of bolt of fire from here. He's targeted this uh, squad. Excuse me, he killed two, and uh, this unit is now going to open fire at these. Now, you may have to roll separately because I think some of them are going to be within nine inches. No, they're not. We're not? Have you checked that? Yeah. Right, no, they're not, they're so not, not within nine, nine but we are within 12. I've I'm got guessing. nine in rapid fire, yep. one of them is out. But no problem. In nine. Not in nine. Are you sure? I don't know. I think oh, that's base, base, is. base to base. Oh, two of them is. Yeah. So two of them. So blue so, need. Blue, the world eater dice, is going to be the ones needing twos. 
because of course of the death of the other one. So, right, it's gonna be a hell of a lot of dice. Woohoo, we roll any ones? One, one. It's not a bad dice roll. These uh, root stem dice, quite good here, look. Let me down. Let you down? Let me down. That's average. No, it's not average. <laughs> You've paid for these dice, and these dice are against you. Needing freeze to wound, because uh, Banshee is only toughness of three. How many you got? Oof. So you have ten uh, wounds. Ten. Needing freeze, because I'm in cover. Flurry of sixes. Yeah, still lost four guys, though. It's not enough. It's not enough. Still lost four. Four of these are down. What's next, then, Mills? It's rockets. Oh, right, okay, the rocket, the ten man rocket team or the splitting fire? They will be splitting fire because I don't splitting like punches. I know. So, what are you doing? I will be firing. I will fire four. In fact, this guy can't see. No. He can't fire. Neither can that guy. So, I'll fire four into them. Yep. And four into that. Okay, and four so four into crack them will and be four. Frag. Yeah, frag. Right, and what does he allow you to do? Does he plus anything? He pluses one, which I will be using, so he pluses one to hit. So there'll be needed twos to hit. Wow. Pluses one um, to hit. Because he's not going to be firing any weapons. No, no, no. Yeah, so yeah, cause he has to sacrifice his shooting to give that an ability to a unit within three inches, doesn't he? Yes, which right. is within three inches of them. Yeah. So well, that's why, that's why you put him with him. <laughs> for 65 points, is better than a Praetor that yeah. allows re-rolls ones. Well, him and a Praetor together is amazing, because it's twos to hit and re-roll ones. That's like clocking in 150 points, though. Then. Hey, well, true. Bigger games, bigger games. Oh, yeah. Right, so which one first then, uh, Mr. Mills? So we'll do the Banshees first, because no I really problem. don't like them. So, 4d6 shots. Alright, he's doing them over here. Oh, I don't want them. Yep, 4d6 shots. He's using his world eater dice, maybe he shouldn't have done. Roll that. So, Five, six, I have ten. Eight. Ten shots, needing twos. All, All hit. hit. That's not a good sign. Frag rockets are strength four, so he's going to need threes. Five. Five. Got ten dice. Four. Five. Needing threes. Oh, all saved. That's pretty decent. Right, okay, the four crack rockets, though. Uh, just checking some line of sights. So, yeah, no obscured. Ray flawed, so I'm going to get a plus one to me save. All so hit. All hit. All hit. All hit. There we go. Yeah, we have a rule. If you can't balance the dice on it, it's cocked. Tough as eight, isn't he? He is, yes. Yeah, so he's going to need fours. Two. two. Any command points? No. What's his save? Save is three plus normally. We have checked he is obscured, so it's going to be a two plus. So that means he's going to need fours to save against the rockets. I'll re-roll one. No. Oh, so he lost the command points. Down to seven. And I need force to save. I get both. The rockets, the feared rockets, didn't actually do what I thought they were going to do. You rolled a flurry of sixes I've rolled, and fives. I've rolled quite high on that one. I didn't roll high at all previous, <laughs> but now my dice have decided they've warmed up in my hands. That's what it is. They've warmed up now. The power of root stem compels you. <laughs> or save Jesus. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Uh, that's, yeah, that's a good one, actually. I quite like that better than mine. Sweet Jesus. Um, oh, dear. Um, Shit. Four Banshees and two Guardians. Yes. Excrement indeed. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, you're making me put loads of bleeps in. I had to download bleeps specifically for you, Mills. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I kind of bribe myself. <laughs> yeah. Right. We're going to be going into Elder Turn 1. This might not uh, go down very well for Craig. Right, some psychic shenanigans going to go on then. I am playing Elder, so you need to have psychic shenanigans. Empower is going to be played with an 18 inch on them banshees. Them banshees have run forward. And of course everyone else has kind of shimmied along a little bit. 
Um, I need a six, and that's going to make them plus one to their wound rolls. Not plus one strength, it's just to the wound rolls in general. Yep, that's with a seven. So they're now going to be empowered. Secondly, I'm going to play Jinx for, sorry, Protect. It's Protect or Jinx. I'm going to play Protect from him on the Banshees, giving him a plus one to the saving throws. I do need five, six, seven, eight. So I've managed to get that as well. And his second power is going to play Quicken on these guys here. Uh, that has actually failed. Do I command point? Because it's only, I need a three. Yeah, go on, I'm going to command point it. Oh! So I've lost a command. I've already used a command point to make sure that they had matchless agility. So down to this guy here. He's going to try and doom that unit there. Now he's going to need, doom of course is a warp charge of seven. Uh, so he is going to need a seven. He's got a ten. So that unit is going to be doomed. And he's now going to play fortune on the guardian squad that's closest. Again, needing a seven. I'll be all that. So that's an eight. So I've done quite well with my psychic phase that time. I've got everything off. I kind of needed to get off except that one. Uh, right, let's uh, crack on with some shooting. Right, so we've done a little bit of small arms fire. They've fired into them. Did nothing. <laughs> the uh, Wraith Lord fired into the uh, uh, Marines with the rocket launchers and did one casualty. And then they fired their rocket plasma shell into those marines and did one casualty. So, so far I've managed to kill two marines. But we're going to do this. This is quite important. This is against this unit that's doomed. So two shots with the star cannon needing fours. It's two hits. Star cannon is strength six. So I need threes with rerolls. And it's a minus of three. So he's going to need five pluses. And he got one. I'm going to reroll that and if I do. Uh, no, no, Doom is just me re-rolling to fail to wound roll oh, right. against you. It didn't used to be, though, did it? There, there used to be another one that forced you to re-roll a uh, successful save. Successful save. Uh, right, so that's just one down so far. Then I've got the rest, which I've got ready here. Oh, Christ. The rest are the Shuriken. They need freeze. And then I need fours with rerolls. Oof, oof. Right, two sixes, so they're going to be a minus of three. How many, no just let me do, roll me normal. And then you five sure. and ten. Ten normal. Ten normal needing twos. One, two, and then dead. And, and then, then two saves needing fives. So, three dead. so another three dead to that shuriken flurry. I expected more. Now, the Dark Reapers, their marine killers, they're going to open fire as well. Within three inches of the fastest, so they're going to be able to reroll hits and reroll to wounds. So they need freeze. Still missed. And freeze for the uh, two shot ones. Reroll to wound, and I think it's minus two, so it'd be fours. Lost two. another two. Oh, the RS coming up nice there. But there's no morale, so regardless of how many of these guys go down, it doesn't matter. They're still going to champ forward. It hurts though. Oh, it does. It's it does hurt. When they're 13 points a model, and how much is your elder? Uh, depending on the unit. How much but of them? Guardians, probably about six. I think it's about 100 points for that unit, including heavy weapon. Yeah, so mine's for a 10 Yours man. is a lot more expensive. Yeah, for 10 man squad yeah. with plasma, with uh, power fist, yeah. it's 140 points. Yep. So they are definitely more expensive. Right, so we're going to go into combat and we're going to have the Banshee's charge. You can't stop them because the Banshee masks. They're definitely going to be in. Right, so the Banshees have got in there. Uh, two attacks apiece on their standard attacks. So these are the standard attacks needing freeze. Only three it. And normally we need fives to wound, but because I've got him power, I do need fours to wound instead. Not one. <laughs> Doing right well. And then the X shark, she's got three attacks in her own, needing freeze. That's, that's, that's not good. 
That is not that's good what, that's at all. That's what you get for rolling 14 sixes when it is. You with it is. I'm going to I'm going to be naughty now. Are you going to play strategy so they can fire again? No, no, no. No, I'm going to play because I want them to survive. And I've got a funny feeling them Marines will probably kick your ass now. So I want them to survive. So I'm going to play lightning fast reactions for two command points, taking me down to four. Yeah. You have a minus one to hit them because of the Banshee x -Shark. And that causes another minus one to hit him as well. So rather than hitting him on threes, you're going to be hitting him on fives. All right. Oh, I'm not so, bothered about that. I know you're not, but I want them to survive a bit yeah, longer. Yeah, you're only playing it on that squad. You're not going to be playing on Prey to next turn. No, 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 no. Unless I do it next turn. But uh, well, so it's, it's just it's a minus It's going to be my turn. combat phase, isn't it? So. Yeah, it's just uh, it's just when it's chosen as a target. Right, uh, so you get to shimmy and then fight. In fives. So it's eight attacks back. We're going to need fives because of the two, the stratagem and the ability. Still four. I do need freeze. Three. That's three. I did give him protect. So we have got an armor save of three plus. So good job. They've all saved. So they've kind of just whacked into each other. Does mean I'm going to take those rocket launchers out for a turn, but only for a turn. Uh, it is a five turn game when you play these. So we know where the objective is as well. We did forget to mention it's now actually down here because I rolled a six for it. Yeah. Uh, which is going to put a uh, massive strain on Mills' army. He's going to have to get through and get forward. Right, so we're going to go into Lunar Wolves turn two. Right, so we've got, uh, he's shimmied up a little bit. Uh, not too much though. Those guys are about to get a pasty. And we fired some bolt pistols off camera, thinking that they wouldn't do much, and he's managed to kill three banshees and wound the X shark. Fantastic. So, <laughs> these guys are opening up within nine inches of the wall at Conclave. The Conclave is not character, so you can target them quite easy. Even though, I mean, don't get me wrong, you have closest, but that's a hell of a lot of bolt shots. That oh. Who's to hit with re rolls on ones because of the Praetor? This is yeah. going to be insane. Another one near. Of all hit. You're gonna need freeze to wound. This is, I might need to get more dice, I've only brought two. Now, if you guys had smell vision, you'd be able to smell the potent plague that Mills is releasing at this moment. This is insane, Mills. Oh! <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to put it off. 14. It is, it is bad though. Right. I don't know why, but it is, bad. It is really bad. So saves on those guys. 14. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's really bad. That's dead. Dead. They're all dead, Dave. They're all dead. Blues are not plus one. These guys are opening up on the spirits here. Real ones. Ooh. That's, it, isn't it? That's it, yep. All those have hit. You're gonna need a uh, freeze. Oof. Not as good. Well, That's still quite that. a bit. Five, eight. Right, so eight dice. Needing fours. Three, he's down to one wound left. That was uh, quite devastating. He's already gone with his prayer to, and his um, Master of the Signal as well, shooting him. Didn't yeah, actually did cause any hits, surprisingly. That's, all, um, you're shooting, that's all you're shooting. He's going to go into the combat phase, put yeah. some charges off camera, and we'll bring you in uh, to combat turn two. Right, okay, Paragon Blade guy over here has managed to murder the... Um, the Banshee, we didn't bother recording that, we knew that was going to happen, it's inevitability. Uh, right, so these guys down here, I'm guessing you're going to go with the Praetor first. Yeah, I'll go with the Praetor first. There's going to be four we, attacks. No rules for that. Yep. Needing twos, re-rolling ones. Just for that one, re-roll right. one. Okay. So. so that's going to be four hits. Oh, hang on, what's your death dealer rule? It's for shooting. The extra sixes. Oh yeah, we, I, I didn't roll any sixes, did I? I think you rolled one. Did I? Well, we'll, we'll say you didn't. 
<laughs> we know for future. So that's going to be four wounds, isn't it? Yes. That's going to be four dead. So what I'll do is, in fact, no, if I take and it on the platform. Well, I'm going to say it causes D3 wounds. Yeah, so the first one I'll take on the platform. So I need a six to save. D3 wounds. One. So the second one, six to save. No. So two wounds on the platform. And then kills two others. And then kills two others. And then the Marines. So you've got three guys there, one attack apiece, plus one for their weapons, because they've got two chain blades. And then the sergeant's got two attacks for his power fist. Yeah. There's a minus one. So threes and fours. We roll ones. That's not very good, actually, that, is it? Four hits oh, though. Power fist. Ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, no. It's it's weird because power fist is a minus one to hit, so therefore it can't roll sixes. We'll check to see whether or not it says natural six. Right, roll to wound. Oh, so one's dead from the power fist and three normal attacks. Any fives. Lost another two, so that's three down. So that would mean I've got one guardian left. <laughs> Um, well, you can consolidate now, but I'm guessing the operator's going to stay there out of the way because, uh, no, well, you can shoot him then, though, can't you? Next turn, I could I do your yeah. turn I next. Surround him so he can't run off. Well, that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move in because then he can't shoot him because I'm still locked in combat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I surround him, it means you can't flee. Yeah, so I'm going to get shot. So I will then attack back. Nothing, right. So that takes it into the next turn. So we're gonna we're now going into Eldar turn two. Yeah. All right, That's moved up a like couple of different time. units. Um, these guys have ran forward, trying to get some more shuriken death in there. Uh, Wraith Lord and of course the uh, Spirit Seer trying to move up towards his tactical Uke yeah, squad. These guys uh, only shimmied forward. I'm not going to be able to target them just yet. I might have to try and hit them with a smite. So I'm going to do... Uh, well, actually, yeah, let's start. I'm going to do a smite with this guy first. Into them. I've got a 10. So that's D3. So that's 3. So three of those guys go down to a smite. And then I'm also going to jinx them, which minus is 1 to your saving throws. Do we need a 7? Yep, I've got an 11. It's a shame I didn't roll that for the... Uh, Smite there. So they're now going to have a minus one to their saving throws. Down here, I'm going to do another smite, which the uh, squad is the closest. So it's going to require a six. And I rolled a four, so I'm going to use his spirit stones to re roll it. And I got a nine, so that's okay. D3, another two. So two of those guys go down. And then I'm going to fortune my own unit in front of me with an eight. So that's fine, they're fortuned as well. And I will remember this this time. So not too bad from the psychic powers there. That's not too bad at all. Right, let's get some shooting done. So some bombs. small arms fire uh, coming in from those guys. Managed to kill a couple more. Uh, they've also fired their bright lance down there. I've not been able to target that because of course I can't because it's in combat. But these guys have run forward. They're going to fight all 20 shuriken into these. Not bad, not bad. Oh, only four misses out of 20. That's 16 hits. When I can actually pick them up. Four sixes, the bot's dead. Uh, no, you got saves of six because you're in oh. cover. I'll roll them for them. Yep. Oh, so, save two. Yeah, save two of them, and then you've got another four normal. Lost one. So you lose three in total then. That wasn't as good as what I expected. That's not that cracking at all. Jinx is coming into effect though. Right, into some charge phases then. Right, so four attacks need threes. Only two. I need twos to wound. Oh. There we go, camera's back to normal. Two to wound. God damn it, I'm going to spend another command point in the fight phase to re-roll that. 
Thank God for that, Jesus. <laughs> Engine move closer. There we are. So we managed to cut through those guys. So that's the effectively the end of turn two. The Eldar still hold on to. Oh no, there's a fight over here actually. So I got a pick. He attacks. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> Praetor. Four attacks needing twos. Re rolling ones. With two natural sixes. Two, yeah, so extra extra attacks. Two hits. Uh, just roll. Doesn't, doesn't say they're automatic. Okay. No. Twos. He's dead. It's a good job. <laughs> Three ones still. Three ones. Nearly as bad as mine. Uh, he is dead and he's going to get to consolidate with his prey to three inch, but I'm guessing he's probably just going to stay still. Unless. Oh no, My he's going to consolidate. Day. It is. So why would I stay still? Because only he can move the three inch, the other unit can't. Yeah, yeah, so. He's there. We know he's there. Right, so we're going to go into Lunar Wolves turn three. Right guys, into turn three. Uh, he's done some bolt of fire down there, managed to take out one, and plasma pistol, managed to take out one of the Dark Reapers. These, he's opened fire, that Praetor there, at my Spirit Seer. Not done anything. And then next off, we're going to have, well, we've got the rockets firing at the ray floor. This is either going to hurt or be really funny. Right, go on, then you need twos to hit. So no re-rolls though, because he's not within six of the Praetor. One miss. One miss. How many dice you roll there? Because you've got nine guys left, haven't you? I've got nine dice. But yeah, eight dice there. Right, no problem. You need fours to wound. Ooh, and he's used the command point in the shooting phase. Yeah, I used it for... So that's uh, three that's gone through. It's minus two. I'm on a three plus armor. I'm going to need fives. I didn't do one. Now, I'm just going to have a quick look at how many wounds it's got before I decide whether or not to use a reroll. Right, so it's got 10 wounds, I've command pointed, re-rolled and still failed. So, 3d6 damage. Yeah, he's gone. I don't, I don't know if it explodes. Oh, I've got a 6, lovely. Uh, right. Oh, they don't actually explode. I'll just roll that dice to see whether or not we should bother looking at the rules. Unfortunately, I rolled a 6 when I needed it for saves. <laughs> so we've got a flurry of bolt pistol shots. My elder army is being creamed. Uh, after a fantastic sort of first turn for myself, I've not really done much else there. So go on then, uh, Sir Craig, you've got a good 20 shots here. Needing twos to hit, three rolling ones, because of death dealer roll. Yes. 20 dice in hand. Three rolling ones. One miss. One miss. It's going to need threes. That's going to hurt. 11 wounds, 9 in hand. And I'll re-roll. So that's 1, 2. Uh, I've rolled 9, so I need another 2. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 of them are dead. And I completely forgot to put them and allocate them onto... The platform. Crap. Right, one guy left. Good job, there's no morale. Uh, <laughs> so it's going to be... Charges. Charges. Right, so do the charge things and come back into it. Just down here and up there, only really into characters. Praetors charge both. So Praetors going to go first. It's got four attacks, needing twos. And we've only any ones. And natural six. Natural six, yep. So he gets uh, an extra attack. You've got to roll to hit with that. Oh, you do, yeah. Uh, nope. Reroll ones. There you go. So, he's hit with five. Needing twos? Yep. That's a good roll, that. No, oh. um, I think S you might. Strength six. Right, let me check, because I don't know if fastest toughness is four. Nope, back down to three. So, yep, that's going to be five wounds. <laughs> Two point points left. Uh... That's three that's going to go through, and it's D3 damage apiece. Dead. Six, seven, eight, my warlord is gone. He can consolidate, is he consolidating into these? Because, well, that's the only way he can go. Yeah, yeah, he charged into them, but he's yeah. finding them out in. So, I'm not interrupting, so you've got your uh, two guys, Power Fist and Normal. Power Fist in blue. Yep, and remember, Power Fist can't explode into extra attacks, but he can reroll ones. So, all hit.
So one's dead. You've got two oh, save. I've got uh, three plus armor. Yeah. I'll use command point on that because I don't use one for. Yeah, you're not use one this phase. So he's down to five. Roll that dice again, then, sir. Your drink looks like it's a nuclear bottle in this it light. Is. Nuclear cola. <laughs> Uh, so two normal saves, I'll take those now because it'll be less complicated. One's got through, and it's one damage so I can go on at five plus. Yep, because that power stays in effect until the end of the turn. And then the two power fists. Now I need a sixes to stop those. No, nope. so the first one that gets through is D3 damage, because I've got to roll fives against the wounds cause. So oh, right, D3 right. damage two. is two, so I need two five pluses. Yep, so he survives, and then the next one again is two. No, so I lose only one out of the Dark Reapers. It's not too bad. Uh, fighting back, three attacks, going to go against the Marines. All hit, I need fives. Two wounds. And Oops. two saves. Right, so, uh, it's going to, now that fortune's going to fade off. Um, uh, have you done your attacks against him? Actually, I forgot. No, I ain't done anything. So it's alright, because that's the opposite side, opposite side of the battlefield. It's not really going to affect this one. So, four, four attacks. attacks. Needing twos. A six there for an extra. Zero ones. Just like a flurry of dice. Five hits. Needing twos. All of them. Needing fours. Dead. He's dead. So I lost all my psychers that turn. It's not looking good. Consolidation from that guy, it's three inch. Fantastic, so I'm down to one down here. Not a lot left, the rear flood's also gone. So it's gonna go into, I might get a table in. <laughs> That's a paddling. <laughs> might go into Eldar turn three. Okay, not really a lot of Jimmy in, just a bit of Jimmy in there. These guys have fallen back out of combat, and uh, just those guys, uh, you know, just him sort of like standing still, is going to shoot the Praetor in the face if he can. Um, these guys are going to open fire first with the Shurikens at the Marines, plus the Brightlands. In trees, it's not too bad still. So I need a last time round. Ones and twos. And needing fours. Two sixes. So two saves of six needed and four normal. Dead. They've gone down. They've gone down. There you go, sir. And now. Where is it? Uh, no. Feigned Retreat. I'm going to use two, my two last command points on that unit that fell back to fake the fallback. And they're actually going to open fire on your Praetor now. So I'm going to fire the Shuriken Cannon first. He gets an extra shot because of the so it's three hits. Needing threes. Two wounds. Normal armor. Two saves. Two sixes. And then the single shot from that one, which will cause three damage. Hits, needs a two. It's wounded. Uh, you got your four up invulnerable. It's minus three. Yep. No, and it causes a straight three damage unless you want to reroll. Well, I can do, yeah, because I've still got my five points. Yep. So he's down to four. He's rerolling. Yep. Still a three. <laughs> so <laughs> it's down to two. Whap. And then the rocket from that side firing at that Praetor. Missed. <laughs> Charges? <laughs> no. <laughs> you sure? I'm going to, hopefully, he's on two wounds left. So, I actually don't think I'm going to survive this turn, but I'll be honest. Um, he's got enough command points to bring that unit forward, fire, and then use Fury at Legion, Fury at Legion and shoot again into these guys. So, I'm pretty much going to be boned, I think, on this one, but we'll see. Right, so the guys have shimmied forward, the Devastators have moved and walked round, and the Praetors are closing in. I'll be honest, I've not done enough casualties, and I'm about, I think, to lose my last couple of squads here. What are you firing first, then, Captain Craig? Uh, 
Plasma pistol. Yep. Hits. It's a hit. It wounds. I need a five plus because I'm on cover, so I'm going to keep this armor. Nope. Two. Uh, uh, yeah. Thingy, save. In fact, I'll put it on him. I don't get the fortune save because uh, the fortune was a psychic power. All oh, right. So I'll put it on him. So he takes a wound. Uh, four rockets. Yep, four rockets that can see. They can see the tactical. All these. Oh, I can see him. Them. Yeah, couldn't have seen them. So it's minus normally it's a non fours. Yeah, it in on plus threes. one because of him. And if I fire him frag or crack. Obviously frag. No problem. Four d six in shots. Fact, I'm not going to fire them first. No. No. I'm going to fire these first. Are you sure? I could take away the guys that you can see. I will also take away guys that might be in range. Uh, that is true, actually. So. Well, no, because you're 24 inches, aren't you? So you're still going to well, be Well, yeah, range. but what I mean is I've got him in rapid, yeah. him in rapid. So there's only those two out of rapid range. Right, okay. In terms of twos to hit. So you're going to go with that lot against those. Yeah. Right, no problem. Have your dice, lads. Okay, so we've got the dice. Uh, the guys in blue need two. Every, everything else needs threes. And he's not within six of his praetor, so no, he rolls on the ones. Not bad, not bad. Needing threes. Ooh. Right, okay, so how many is that there? Nine. Nine, five, six. Right, okay, so the first couple of hits then, first two hits, I'll do it properly this time. <laughs> On the platform, needs a two. First one. I'll gather some dice together. So the first one. Oh my god. I've tanked them all. The platform has tanked them all. So I'm guessing now comes the four rocket shots. Yep. So you've got 10, 14. Are you wanting to come and point any of those to give more shots to yourself? Oh, I can do, yeah. Mm. Obviously so the one. Obviously the one. Okay, now it turns into two. a three. So that's going to be 16 shots. 16 shots needing threes. Re... No, no re-rolls. No re not bad, not bad. Needing threes again. Real. I'm going to do the same again. So how many is that? Seven. Yep. Platform. Platform. One wound. Platform. 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 I'll roll again. Platform. Platform. So the platform suffered a wound. And the bolt pistol from the Praetor into your other Guardian squad. That's ah, all. yep. That's yep. all the shots then. Hits. Wounds. Two plus. Two plus. Yep, save. Charges. Yeah, into the oh, charging no, phase. Sorry. Two points. Oh, he's going to use two command points. Taking him down what? No, one command point. Oh, yeah. The Fury one, of the Legion to fire this squad again. So it's going to be exactly the same as what you had before. So four of them are in rapid. Another 12, and then two, yeah. We know, we know. So that one, and then number two. There you go. So they're going to fire again due to Fury of the Legion. Let's see if I can put my opponent on the nice screen. No re rolling ones. And uh, two's missed. Oh, yeah, they have. How many this time? All sixes. All sixes. They don't do anything. That would be it's true. Eight. Eight saves. I've got one wound left on the platform. <laughs> oh no! To be fair, he's done his job. <laughs> he has, he has. So seven remaining on the rest of the squad. Needing fours. Oh he was really protecting them. Drop of five. I am still holding the objective. Not for long. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> right, let's get into some charging. And this is kind of the results of the combat. He's uh, he's charged through them. 
tactical and consolidating into them. They have actually fought back and done nothing. And the other prey to finish off the guys over there. I have pretty much effectively been tabled. So I'm not going to win the game because if I fall back, I can't do anything. I've got no command points to be able to do all. And then these guys are piling up on me and he's going to be able to charge again. And if I stay in combat, he's going to be able to kill me. So that's it. That's the end of that game. I've managed to uh, find the cash here and then it's been taken off me. I did have some bad dice rolls. I think uh, losing all the Banshees quite quickly as well did not help from bolt pistols. Uh, yeah, that, that didn't help. <laughs> that didn't help at all. Well, if I didn't kill that. Yeah, but he would have been able to rampage through quite a bit if you did not managed to kill him. But I got, I got lucky with that squad. Yeah. yeah. Even though you yeah. cut half of them down, I got lucky being able to get up to that objective. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, so that's smaller games. That's basically for people that are limited on a four foot by four foot table. That's the excitement that you can have. Ooh. Or even a thousand points. Or even just a thousand points. Yeah, a thousand points is all right, especially if you're just wanting to play at home. Right, well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button if you wanted to see more on twitch.tv forward slash Rootstem Gaming. And of course, you can buy t shirts from Teespring. Uh, just search for Rootstem Gaming in your search bar. Right, uh, if there's any sort of armies you're wanting to uh, see, just give us a message. And uh, just also put us a message down if you actually are wanting to get hold of some of these root stem dice. I'm going to show yours off there, uh, Mills. A couple of the old ready ones there. Uh, they do come in a variety of colours, which I might actually post up places. I'll also give a link to the company that actually made them for me. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time.